Here we have 7.2 solving a word problem using a quadratic equation with irrational roots. So it says a ball is thrown from a height of 32 meters with an initial downward velocity of 2 meters per second. The ball's height h in meters after t seconds is given by the following. h equals 32. This 32 has to do with gravity. Um, minus 2t minus 5t squared. And it says round the answer to the nearest hundredth. So it's asking me to find the ball's height h in meters after t seconds. And I think I am missing some information. Yes, it wants to know, it asks the question, find the time at which the ball will hit the so this sentence was missing in the problem, but it is part of the problem. Now, in order for me to do that, I have to take into account what's going on. I'm trying to find the time. So T is what I'm going to be looking for. But I means I need to have a number for H. And that number in this case is going to be the height at which the ball hits the ground. If this is the height, when it hits the ground, that height is going to be zero. There will be no distance between the ground and the ball anymore. So basically what we're doing, we're setting this equal to zero and then trying to solve this resulting equation. Now, it is equal to zero and I could use the quadratic formula right away, but I do not like to use the quadratic formula when my square term is negative. So for me, I would be moving every single one of these terms over to the other side. And as I do that, they all change signs. So if I move this over, this would be 5t squared positive. This would be positive 2t, and this would be negative 32. And since everything moved over to the left, there would be nothing left over on the right. So then now I can plug in my formula. So my A is 5, my B is positive 2, and my C is negative 32. So I'm going to say T equals negative 2 plus or minus 2 squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2 times A. I get negative 2 plus or minus Um, square root of 644 over 10. Now it does tell me to round my answer to the nearest hundredth, so I don't need to simplify this, take out what I can, simplify the fraction. It's unnecessary because all I'm going to do is type it all in the calculator anyway to get a decimal. So what I am going to do is I'm going to split this into the two responses. and see what decimals we get. So for the first one, I'm gonna type in a fraction, negative two plus the square root of 644 over 10. And I'm gonna hit the double arrow so that it convert it to a decimal. And the answer here is two point to the nearest hundredth would make that three, four. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one, but I am gonna go in and just change this to a minus and I get negative 2.74 because this 7 will change that 3. So I have my two answers here, but remember these are t values, right? t equals this and this. It doesn't make sense for our time to be negative. So this response you omit because it doesn't fall the description of the scenario. So the only actual answer that you'll get for this problem is 2.34 seconds. 
you always have to verify that the responses that you get make sense. Negative time does not make sense when we're doing these problems with respect to time. If you were doing geometry, uh, you couldn't get a negative length or a negative width, right? Those don't make sense in the context of the problem. So that is going to be our solution there, 2.4 seconds.